Well, nearly every night we tell you about someone pulling a trigger, oftentimes with deadly outcomes. People in one community are trying to disarm such violent behavior. Then your size Liz Palka just returned from one such meeting in Newport News, not far from where two teens were recently murdered. Liz, what came of the meeting tonight? Tom, the theme going into tonight was stop the violence, a phrase we've heard many times before. Tonight, community members said we have to stop just saying it and actually do something. We don't just pray behind these four walls. We need to be marching down these streets. Something has stirred in the Newport News East End community over the last week. This is the beginning. This is the beginning for us. Residents are talking about the shooting that took the lives of two young people, 13-year-old Jada Richardson and 17-year-old Domingo Davis. They were shot and killed at a party on 25th Street. Fatima Walton says her family knew Davis's father. Domingo, his father, actually perished here as well years ago. And so a lot of the people that all went to school with him just started feeling I'm like, okay, enough is enough. We really have to start doing something. So Walton and others gathered to talk about what can be done at Carver Memorial Presbyterian Church on Tuesday night. The overarching theme, we can't just meet and talk in churches anymore. It's time to do more. If you're a church person, you should have no fear. Hit the street. We got 15 churches on one block. That's right. And ain't nobody doing nothing. That's right. All I said, you're right. We're much of the meeting was spent listening to what others had to say, including police who had several officers from the South Precinct present at the meeting. We've got to look at some other cities. What programs are they doing to stop violence in their city? Walton said the double homicide has created movement that's starting with Facebook. She said more than 600 people have already joined a group called the Newport News Call for Action Committee, and they're already planning meetings in the community for this weekend. We can't just be in the church talking about all the things that need to happen. We need to go out there and actually do that. We need to be foot soldiers out there in the streets. There were multiple city representatives at tonight's meeting, including the Commonwealth's attorney, youth and gang violence prevention coordinators, and police officers from Newport News and Hampton. None of them spoke on the microphone, but told me they were there to listen and engage with residents. I'm Liz Palka, 10 on your side.